Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I will be showing how to fix your Google Chrome web browser if it is not opening up and just displaying a blank page if it does so. So this is a very simple tutorial. So if you have a shortcut on your desktop, you can just right click on it and then go right down to the second item in this list where it says open file location and left click on that. If you do not have a shortcut on the desktop, you can go to the start menu and if you type in Chrome or Google Chrome, whatever you feel more comfortable with, and then you right click on that, it will also give you an option to open the file location. So either way, if you have a shortcut or you don't, you can still get to this. So right away we see we have an item listing here that says Chrome. What we want to do is we want to right click on it then left click on rename. Now we want to put any character after it, meaning any letter, number, symbol. I'm just going to put a dot because I think that it still helps preserve what the name of this executable is. So I'm going to click out of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the shortcut on my desktop if I have one. And what I'm going to do is now, if I want to have another shortcut on the desktop for Chrome, I'm going to right click on this newly changed name right here. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to go down this list where it says create shortcut. I'm going to left click on that. It says Windows cannot create shortcut here. Do you want the shortcut to be placed on your desktop instead? Click on yes. There are other ways to make shortcuts. I just always find this to be one of the quicker ways. So at this point, you can close out of here. And if you don't like how this looks, you can right click on the shortcut here, go down this list to rename, and now you can type in Google Chrome, and then just click enter when you're done. And if we open it up, and let's just say we had the Google, we see everything looks fine. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.